I don't even have one clean underwear. Pooja, you didn't do the laundry. Did you pay your credit card bill? I forgot. Saranj, can't you even put your clothes in the laundry bag? Should we go for groceries, Saranj? Let's go. We don't have anything. The car is so dirty. When are you going to clean this? We'll do it. This weekend. If there's one thing that almost all couples who live together argue about, it's completing household chores. Who does what, when, and how? I know, I know. It's not the sexiest thing to discuss, but it's something no couple can avoid. When you live together, it's normal to have arguments, especially when it comes to figuring out who does what chores in the house. And trust us, it's not always a smooth sail. So in this video, we'll show you how we divide our household chores as a couple living here in Canada. And is it 50-50? Well, let's find out. And guys, a big disclaimer. Not saying this is what and how you should do it with your partner. We're just sharing what works for us. Maybe you can learn something from this video. And also, let me know in the comment section below how you do it with your partner. Probably we can learn something from you too. Why not? So initially, when we moved to Canada, chores were a free for all. We did not have like set responsibilities. It used to be random. Whoever had time did whatever because it was all new for us. But over time, we have figured out a system and have realized who's good at what, and we divide our task fifth. 50-50. Almost equally, right? Yeah, I mean, why should one person have all the burden? We work as a team. High five. And that's one reason of our happy married life. Yes. <laughs> Even evidence shows that couples who distribute their workload fairly, they are happier than those who don't. Because obviously then it's unfair, right? One person's quality of life goes down. That leads to conflicts, grudges, fights and we don't need any dramas in this house. Exactly. So this is how we do it. First we list down all the household chores. Big or small, we put everything in here. And then we discuss who's responsible for what. Cleaning, kitchen, kitchen cooking, laundry, paying bills. There's so many things. Even if it's as small as just putting the garbage bin out, put it here. So when it comes to cooking, I actually cook while he does the chopping. chopping. FYI, I'm the chopping master of this house because I was living in Australia for so long and my friend, he used to cook and I used to chop all the time. So this transition actually came in organically. And then I use my mind to figure out what new recipes I'm going to make. I can easily whip up a dish by just looking at the recipe while he cannot. So I think it's important to play at your strengths too. And unfortunately, a lot of us still cling to old-fashioned ideas where a lot of the household chores are on the shoulders of a woman but we really don't believe in traditional gender roles and also I don't even understand why are some tasks perceived as men's job and some chores are seen as women's work honestly I see that in relationships where only the woman is in the kitchen doing all the cooking why can't men do it? And maybe you can do the cleaning or clean the bathroom, right? Exactly, that's right. If you don't help your wife or your partner, you have to do it. That's the secret of a happy married life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but for us, cooking is a bonding time for us too. I don't want her to do all the kitchen work because that's a lot of work. Whenever I come alone in the kitchen, Saranj can't just sit alone watching TV or something. Exactly. I mean, thank you for that. But he'd really make sure to come in and do something or the other. I don't know, I just don't feel nice to like, you know, sit outside while she's just cooking for hours and hours. And also guys, all time is created equal. Yeah. We both have 24 hours in a day. We both work full time. So why to have that disparities in household work? Why? Why? If you can do it all by yourself, that's fine. But when we do it together, it's just easier for us to prep all the meals. And it's quick also. We have to save time at the end of the day. And guys, back home, I've never entered the kitchen or done any sort of chopping. Me too. Yeah, but after coming here in Canada, we like... We have to. We have to. <laughs> and I like helping out. I have some sort of fascination with chopping now. <laughs> Sometimes, if I'm doing the chopping, he literally takes knife from my hand and tells me, Pooja, this is how you should do it. And then I leave it on to him. I was like, if this is how you want to cut the potato, just cut the potato <laughs> yourself. So, we not only divide the task according to our strengths and weakness, but also according to 
what we like and this is one thing like vacuuming i don't know i just find it so therapeutic we live in a three story townhouse so all the floors that's my job and i have no problems with it because you know when you do the tasks that you really love you're consistent in doing all of those things plus you enjoy it too plus your house is clean too plus there are no conflicts too but guys trust me this vacuum is so good it's expensive but it really cleans up like the little speck of dust that you can't even see from your naked eyes the dyson sees it so i highly recommend this as soon as the vacuum is done i start my mopping this is the thing i love the most and the best part is i don't have to like you know bend down and mop and i actually use the swiffer mop which is pretty handy and convenient and i feel every household needs to have one of this guys band karo ye actually main dono enjoy nahi karte i don't enjoy this job at all what i don't enjoy like cleaning bathrooms especially like cleaning four bathrooms in this house yeah But sometimes have... one partner might feel that they are overburdened with work because sometimes saranj says i do more of the cleaning you have the bathroom cleaner of this house who I... has been cleaning bathrooms you... from the last 5 years in canada You chose this, but I don't like it. I hate it. You got to do what you got to do, guys. No work can be equal, like completely fifty-fifty, right? It's time-consuming, guys. It takes me like almost three hours to clean like three point five washrooms. That's why I have taken equal responsibility of cleaning the kitchen, and even I have become a pro. When you're deep cleaning every weekend. It takes hours because it's not just the kitchen counter that I have to clean. I make sure to clean all the appliances, the gas stove, and again, I'm responsible to keep everything in place inside the shelves too. And I really don't want Saranj to touch this because I need it in a certain way, and that's why I've just kept this job to myself. Guys, I've been cleaning the washrooms from the last five years, and I feel I've become an expert in it. It's a nice workout where I move the body, and I feel flexible also, you know. And it's not just one washroom. There's washroom number two. There's washroom number three, and not to forget the powder room. Is that fair? When you have this big of a kitchen. It's fair. And dusting is something that I have to do. I've told Pooja multiple times to like you know split dusting and probably just do dusting of the bedrooms. But guys, it's been long due. I think she doesn't like dusting. That's why I told you it can't ever be equal. Yeah. But again, if I see something, I definitely wipe it off. Yeah, she does. Yeah, she helps me here and there, but. Your boy is the dusting guy of this house. And if we are in charge of a specific duty, we take full ownership of it, and I'm fully responsible for meal planning because Saranj cannot even decide one meal. If I give this task to him, we will not even get any food. Also, with the meal preps, I make sure that I know if every anything is getting over. No pasta left. So even before. going to groceries i make sure that i make a list and for this saranj is never concerned because he knows that i'm fully responsible to take care of all of this and then yes we depend on each other and that makes us accountable to do our thing perfectly guys there's one thing that i take full control of and pooja has no clue about it she's not even concerned about it any guesses although she transfers her fair share of household expenses in the joint account but i pay the monthly bills taxes and anything related to our monthly expenses and the guy if i give this responsibility to pooja all the payments would be overdue and we would be charged so much of interest in credit card bills itself and that's why i don't trust her i have only given her one responsibility which is paying her own business expenses and to be honest guys sometimes she messes that up and she has been charged interest over interest every month because she forgets it has just happened once or twice not like every month but you yeah get, i do agree you're getting better this is something that i just can't do it and i can't I, and i have been doing it from the past 5 years and he does a brilliant job so it's okay he can keep doing this forever 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 getting there slowly you know learning what? from the you, best you know what every month i just send her a whatsapp message telling her to pay this much amount towards the credit card <laughs> that's funny but yeah this is so we have worked out she ignores that as well so i have to no, send it no i do again. read it i'm getting better but i do make sure that i stack all the bills and give it to saranj 
this we usually do it together but sometimes i don't know i just want to rush and get all the mails because i'm always so curious to see what's coming although they're just bills every month it's still a surprise i just love going through all the advertisements and everything sometimes you get like a coupon from wendy's mcdonald's and we use that a lot if you guys have been following pooja's channel from a long time you guys must be aware that i am the dishy of this house i do all the dish washing cleaning 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 dish wash dish washing loading up the dish wash and unloading it yeah cleaning the dishes like hand wash as well yeah but that wasn't always the case but saranj was so particular in the way the dish washer is loaded that i had to take a step back this responsibility so has transitioned from pooja to me now so yeah don't criticize your partner on how they do a particular job if you don't like them doing a particular thing in a certain way just switch it up take that full responsibility and do it in your own way like literally when i used to even put one thing he used to change it up then i was like okay i'm not going to do this because this creates unnecessary tensions which nobody wants but i help him here and there by putting the plates inside the shelves not really she's I lying do. guys i do not really i do i do i've never seen this you put it on the island and then i help you out sometimes no no I... it's always me but whenever i'm washing the pans and pots she actually helps me put all the pots and pans back that's yeah. it nothing from the dishwasher whatever but one thing that i solely do is cleaning all the appliances because he has no clue about it i have actually become an expert of cleaning all the appliances be it the air fryer the microwave time consuming fridge guys i don't interfere because she has great attention to detail so i can't be bothered yeah and not to forget descaling the nespresso machine too is it fair now It is. It is. So since Saranj is so good at managing all the due dates of the credit card bills and everything, I just let him do it, and I don't worry about it at all. And one thing that I'm accountable for is doing the laundry. And right now I have two big stacks of laundry because it actually wasn't that of a big chore earlier, but. Since this is a three-story townhouse, that's also okay. But our laundry is on the main floor, so I have to take this. And this seems like a challenge sometimes. And last week, I just skipped laundry. Yeah, that's why Saranj doesn't have one clean underwear. It's very heavy. Do you need my help? That's all right. I'm used to this now. But yeah, sometimes Saranj helps me to get the laundry back downstairs. At least sometimes. Only when he runs. Out of underwears. <laughs> Again, I'm kidding. That doesn't really happen. But this time, maybe it might have happened once or twice. It has. But otherwise, I keep a track of the laundry. Today also, I don't even have an underwear to wear. Shut up. <laughs> this is all my job. But the only thing that I don't do a good job at is taking care of the socks. Guys, please let me know in the comments below when you do your laundry. How do you manage to keep the pair together? Because every time I wash the clothes. I'm left with one socks maybe I just leave it in the laundry bag or I don't know how it goes missing at least my underwear doesn't get missing <laughs> no it's and not just washing the clothes but it's my responsibility of folding the clothes as well Li but liar what sometimes I help you out as well because whenever you're busy folding clothes you yeah, sometimes I fold Never. my own sometimes I fold my Never. own clothes Never no no You only fold your underwear because I don't fold your underwears. You, you actually I just leave it like that. You actually fold my underwears but you don't fold it correctly. So that's why I do it by myself. Yeah, so again, if your partner likes folding in a certain way, just leave it to them. They'll happily do it and you can happily save your time doing the other stuff. So, before you go ahead with the video, why don't you check out my brand new website which is now live? And for that, I would like to thank my long-term partners, none other than Squarespace. So, if you're new around here, Squarespace is an amazing all-in-one platform that helps you to build your own website, blog, portfolio, e-commerce store all in one space. And it's so easy to design your own website using their award-winning templates. 
I have no coding experience and I built everything from scratch. And if you still get stuck somewhere, they have 24 seven customer support to help you with anything you need. So if you're an entrepreneur, creator, or want to showcase your portfolio, definitely give it a try. Just go around, play with the features. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash peekaboo to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. And make sure to check out my website. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. But before you do that, let's just finish the video. And for groceries, we come together because we both enjoy it. We love exploring different grocery stores. Every week, it's a new one. And we really love exploring different aisles, looking for different snacks. There are tons of options. And something that we have started doing is we are reserving our grocery chores for the weekdays instead of weekends, which we used today's, to do earlier. Today's Tuesday. And there are hardly any people. Barely. And that's the main reason. And you save a lot of time too. And for this chore, I don't think we'll ever come individually. Never. Because grocery shopping is actually exciting. And this is a good bonding time together as well. We also sometimes have like a little arguments in the grocery store because sometimes Ranch wants to pick something and I tell him no. I usually want to pick some sort of junk food. Yeah, <laughs> but I enjoy those arguments. Yeah. <laughs> Who does the car key? Guess, guys. Okay. So, we did it together once or twice once. initially. And then nobody did it. Nobody did it because we both don't like cleaning the car from inside. Yeah. And from outside, we just get a car wash done. Just go to the nearest petrol candle, get yeah. it washed. But inside... We literally need to do something about it. Especially in winters, it gets so dirty, the mats are terrible. You guys would not want to sit in our car. It's not that. Bad. Yeah, it is. Trust okay, me, he's getting, just over-exaggerating it's now. now. It's, now. it's not that bad, but it's not even that great. How about we outsource this? Yeah, I think sometimes for your own sanity, you need to outsource stuff as well because I agree. time is a limited commodity. We only have 24 hours in a day and we have so much to do. We'll probably call someone to clean our car from inside. Is it expensive here in Canada? No idea. We have not even explored. We should. Like last year, we decided to outsource our snow removal. Yeah. But we got scammed. Yes. We found someone on Facebook. Kijiji. Yeah, so we got the snow removal service for like six, seven hundred dollars and we paid 50% as a deposit before the start of the season and we got scammed guys. He never came to yeah, clean the no snow. No one showed up. Yeah, so that's why we were like, okay, for this season we didn't do, and also we did not have any snow no. because of the El Nino wind, so we're good with that. But again, if there's something that you can just outsource, do it. And there are unpleasant tasks too, right? Like doing the garbage. So garbage is something that we used to do it together. But now things have changed. Yeah. So I collect all the garbage bags from all the floors and take it downstairs. But this is something that I have to literally rush because sometimes Ranch completely forgets that the garbage truck is going to come this morning. But we just have to do it once in a week. So I take all the garbage. And then I collect everything in one garbage bag and then put it out. So every Friday, it's my responsibility to take out the garbage. By the way guys, it's not that bad, but it gets a little challenging during winter time. That's why I started avoiding it. Yeah. I used to just come till here, stand here, and then he used to go out like that and keep it there. But all the garbage <laughs> from all the three floors, I get it, bring it all to him, and then he keeps it here. So let's teamwork, teamwork right here. there. Yep. And then there are periodic tasks like cleaning the basement and cleaning the garage. Which, which is super dirty right now. Yeah, but we just do it together whenever it's yeah. new. I think we do it like every six months. It doesn't get that dirty. It does, but Look at that. it's not that important, I guess. Yeah. How much can you do, guys? Yeah. How much can you do? And even the basement. But I think we have to do this more often because we have the gym here. And guys, there's one more area that we want to show you. Yeah, so this is where all the storage is. And this is all clean and maintained by Pooja and Saranj. After every few months, yeah, we do the declutter. The change, we declutter and put everything in the boxes, like our Christmas stuff and a lot of random stuff here and there. And also, we make the bed together because the mattresses are so heavy. <laughs> so we need each other's help in doing this. Yeah, to change the bed sheets. And even in the morning, also, like whenever we get up, we fold our duvet, make our bed. 
That's also a good morning habit that we have formed recently. And one thing that we really enjoy doing together is planning our vacations yeah. and also weekends too. That's the best time. I take the yeah, major you do the majority portion of the, of the itinerary and everything. Guys, she's a researcher when it comes to finding hidden gems or hidden spots like best places to travel, eat and Saranj does the booking booking the flights, hotels our choice is pretty similar so we don't yeah. really have an issue there and I just want to include the vacation part because this is also something in our household that we do exactly because Even it, it also takes time right yeah also when it comes to shopping although it's not a household chore this is not something that we do every other day I just want to put it up because it's related to house whenever we bring anything in the house that is always a joint decision I never buy anything that Saranj is not ready for. But the responsibility is inclined towards Pooja. Yeah, I decide what to get. Yeah, and narrow down some options. And even anything related to the house decor or anything like that, Pooja does that. And I guess I'm only better at doing this with the aesthetics and everything in the house. I feel I she I has a, a good, good taste. taste. Definitely better than him. <laughs> I agree. Apart from all of this also, there's so many invisible chores that we don't think about. Like cleaning the sink, drains, oh, yeah. changing the filters, doing yeah. all the repairs if you have to fix anything in the house. Yeah, something or the other always pops up guys. Yeah, and whenever that's due, we just try to tackle it together. Because we actually have us mentality. Whenever there's something that pops up in front of us, we don't really put it on each other. We just try to have fun and just solve the problem. Oh yeah, I remember one thing. Yeah. Like last week only, we changed our humidifier filter. And oh, we yeah. did it together because I was not able to figure out how to open the duct. He knew all the process, but there was just a silly thing that he was not able to figure out. And then yeah. Pooja helped me. We literally watched a YouTube video and she figured out. Yeah, and also appreciate each other. A single thank you goes a long way because sometimes we just take it for granted. Thank you. Yeah, thanks to you too. <laughs> sometimes like whenever she's busy or even I'm busy, we do each other's work as well, right? Yeah, we are flexible in that way. We pick up each other's slack. Yeah, and also guys, one thing that we do is we don't compare ourselves to any couple. Even if we go to our friend's place and we see our friend's wife or friend's husband doing something, we just don't start talking within ourselves and be like, look at him, how is he doing? We don't really discuss because we feel every couple is unique. Yeah, each and to their own, I guess. If you do that, please don't. Don't compare yourselves to the other couples because you never know what's going behind closed doors. Right, and no one is perfect, right? We both are learning from each other and I think it's incredibly important to be on the same page as a couple to avoid all the fights misunderstandings conflicts arguments again it can't be just exact 50 50s although we I think we do 50 50 yeah we do do you agree with that yes I do me too so but sometimes I feel it goes here and there but that's fine we love each other we support each other we don't have shame doing each other's job and I guess that's why we are happy touch wood <laughs> touch wood we are touching wood for you too <laughs> and when you distribute your work equally that's also one way to show care for each other that we respect each other's time in that way our home is clean and our relationship is better too without any happy. disagreements and fights and you are more happy in your married life <laughs> So yeah, that's how we divide our house chores as a couple living here in Canada. High five High again. Five. And please let us know in the comment section below how you do it in your family. If you stay with your parents, how do you help them? Or if you stay with your partner, how do you split we up your chores? We would love to know more. We would love to learn from you too if there's something that we can improve. Exactly. We always have a room for that. And I really hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.